Hello, welcome to Gotcha's five-step Bible guide, where anything you choose to touch is another direct connection with God. Come on, let me show you around. There are a lot of topics to choose from, but let's use the Daily Discovery, which is a daily devotional that starts you off thinking about a question marked in green to apply to your life from what you discover. As you dig into the scriptures, remember that all five steps are important, so don't miss out on any of them. Prayer is number one, because it's important to ask for God's help. There's even a simple prayer here that you can pray. Lord, help me concentrate. Give me ears to hear you speak and eyes to see. Holy Spirit, help me understand your truth and live in the light of what you show me. Two is the overview. This is what the book you are in is about. Everything you read in that book will point back to the overview. You'll see a short description as well as more detail about the author, what type of literature it is, when it was written, and more. A couple of things to keep in mind. The Bible is not like any other book. It's alive. So as you look at God's word, make it relational with Jesus. Three is look, which is where you'll spend most of your time exploring what God says. Tapping icons and arrows gives you information, like how to read a verse, asking who, what, when, where, why, and how. Who are the characters? What's happening? Where it's happening? There are examples for you. There are all sorts of ways to connect with God in this step. Things to reflect on, key words, and a gotcha favorite, word meanings. Just click the word and everything you could want to know about it will pop up. There are also cross-references. Find a word or topic and simply touch it and they pop up. There's thousands of them all relating to what you're reading. There are even comparisons. It's so simple. Anything you touch gets you directly engaged with God. Step four is learn what God means. Questions from the text are in black and point you back to the text. Like, what have you discovered about God, his names, his character, his works, and how to worship him? Maybe you want to do a word search to go deeper. Let's search Lord. It's mentioned three times here in the text. When we search it, we find that it's actually mentioned over 6,000 places in the Bible. You can click on any of them and God will take you right to that passage. And while you're searching, your search word is highlighted everywhere that it's mentioned in the text. Step five is the payoff. Live questions, highlighted in green, which challenge you to apply what you've looked at and learned. Like, how will I specifically call upon God, His names, in the circumstances of my life? You can write your thoughts and observations in the notes section, which stays linked to whatever passage you made the note for. It's also easily accessible in your notes section on the homepage. This might be a good place to stop and pray. Gotcha has a built-in prayer module which is separated into two parts, following how Jesus taught us to pray in Matthew 6. The first part is about our Heavenly Father, his name, his kingdom, his will. Maybe you praise God for being your fortress. The second part is our petitions here on earth. Your needs, forgiveness, temptations. Maybe it's a prayer for a friend's salvation. Whatever your prayers are, you can use this section to record them and come back to them to see how the Lord has worked in your life. Now close your five steps and celebrate a little. Well done. That's it. Five simple steps where anything you choose to touch is another direct connection with God. And the more you use Gotcha, the more you'll enjoy your time with Jesus. So remember, take it slow, don't get distracted, and enjoy your journey.